everyone. Welcome to Foresights with me, Anjali. You are watching the top news for the day. China continues ban of food imports from Japan. Millions of Ukrainian refugees may choose to settle outside. Gujarat High Court refuses to stay Rahul Gandhi's conviction. Train caught fire in Telangana state. A top cop shoots himself in Tamil Nadu. Airbus books record orders from India. Indian shuttles PV Sindhu and Lakshya Sen in Canada open quarterfinals. SpaceNet and Pathfinder partnership expands scope for AI in retail. China maintains ban on food imports from Japan due to safety reasons post Japan's decision to release the treated water from its nuclear plant. Chinese customs shared that they would be continuing the ban on food imports from Japan. China has maintained that they are not happy with UN watchdog report certifying the water from Fukushima nuclear plant as safe to release into the Pacific. And the ban on Japanese food is to protect the food safety of its customers, China said. Millions of Ukrainians became refugees as they fled their country when the war started. However, with the war continuing a drag on, their hope of returning starts to fade. According to an UN report on refugees in February 2023, there are nearly 5 million internally displaced people within Ukraine. With continued hostilities between Russian and Ukraine, insecurity and destruction of their homes, their return to home look more bleak than ever. At least a third of Ukraine's population is forced to flee their homes and more and more are looking at finding their future outside Ukraine. As the population of Ukraine is shrinking by one third, the industry faces severe labor and workforce shortages. Gujarat High Court refuses to stay Rahul Gandhi's conviction in defamation case and as deemed trial court order as proper. Gujarat High Court has dismissed Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's plea seeking stay on his conviction in the Modi surname defamation case. On an earlier date, Surat Sessions Court rejected his plea and said that Rahul Gandhi should have been more careful as leader of second largest party in India. In a case filed by Purnesh Modi over using Modi surname in his speech, Rahul was convicted and has been disqualified as Lok Sabha MP. He also faces a sentence of two years in jail. The Gujarat Rath High Court bench said that the trial court conviction is proper and that there is no need to interfere with the order. Train caught fire in Yadadri district of heavy smoke spread in three coaches of the train. Thankfully, the passengers escaped just in time. Three coaches of Falaknama Express caught fire while crossing the Yadatri district of Telangana in India. The train from Howrah to Secunderabad was stopped at Bommanapalli village and the passengers who jumped out just in time had narrow escape as black smoke spread across the S3, S4, S5 coaches. No injury was reported and the cause of the fire is yet to be investigated. A top police official shot himself and died during the early hours this morning at his home in Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu state of India. Deputy Inspector General of Police Coimbatore Range IPS Officer Vijaya Kumar shot himself at his official residence in Coimbatore during the early hours. His body was sent for autopsy and investigation has begun. The 45-year-old officer lived with his family in the race course residence. The 2009 batch IPS officer served as SP and DSP before taking charge as DIG in January this year. The reason behind his extreme step is being investigated. European plane maker has backed record Airbus orders thanks to spike in demand from India. Airbus has booked record orders from India that stood at 1,080 aircrafts in the first half. The company said it delivered 316 jets so far and is targeting 720 deliveries this year. In an official announcement, Airbus confirmed that it booked orders for 500 jets from Indigo and 250 from Air India. This is said to be a part of the efforts by India in the world's fastest growing aviation market and Indian airlines are taking steps to keep pace with the demand. Global fintech company SpaceNet has partnered with Chennai-based AI firm Pathfinder Enterprise Solutions and the merge is expected to revolutionize the retail sector in India. It is great news for SpaceNet shareholders as well. The current value of stock is Rs 15.60. 
SpaceNet, the global fintech company that specializes in commodity trade finance, has entered into partnership with Chennai-based business analytics and generative artificial intelligence firm Pathfinder Enterprise Solutions. This alliance is expected to revolutionize the retail sector in India at a time when AI is being optimized to bridge the physical stores with digital spaces for enhanced customer engagement. The primary focus of the agreement is the integration of retail GPT Pathfinder's proprietary generative AI platform. The merger is a unique opportunity for SpaceNet shareholders as well. In Canada, Open Indian Shuttlers PV Sindhu and Lakshya Sen advance to quarterfinals. The world number 15 in Badminton Federation rankings PV Sindhu clashed with world 16 Natsuki Nidaira of Japan, the match she won taking her into the quarterfinals. The two-time Olympic medalist will play number 45 Gova Fang Ji of China in the quarterfinal. Lakshya Sen won over Brazil's Igor Coelho in his pre-quarter match. Lakshya Sen won over Brazil's Igor Coelho in his pre-quarter match. He will be facing Belgium's Julian Kargi in the semi-final match. Thank you for watching Foresights with me Anjali. See you all again with latest updates.